Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles from Apple Insider, and today we're taking a different look at the AirPods Max. I have some friends from the Imperial Symphony Orchestra here in Central Florida, and they're gonna try listening to some of their favorite classical works on the AirPods Max. They're gonna let us know how it sounds, how it compares to other places they've heard these works. Do they hear instrumentation any better? Does it sound different? And is it worth the price? We hope you enjoy this classical take on the AirPods Max. Hi, my name is Whitney. I'm the principal flutist of the Imperial Symphony Orchestra. I've been playing flute professionally for about 15 years now. Hello, my name is Lorenzo Sanchez. I'm a viola player for the Imperial Symphony Orchestra and a school teacher. I've been with the orchestra for about 10 years now. Hi, my name is Jennifer Stahl, and I'm the principal oboist with the Imperial Symphony Orchestra, and I've been playing a little over 30 years with them. You can hear the air being played into the flutes when multiples of them come in. Uh, that's interesting. And you can hear each instrument enter which even when they're entering together. When I hear them in other places, I hear them as a whole, as a unit, and in this you can hear them as a unit, but also distinguish them separately. They just feel really nice. When I compare them to like the XM4s that I got at the beginning of the pandemic, just like, even just pulling back, it all wants to like stay in its shape and it feels sturdy. I mean, off the cuff, I'm a viola player. So like I picked this specifically because it's a viola part that I played all the way back in high school even, and I can hear my part. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, it's clean. It's not, the soundstage might be a little bit smaller than I would like, but it's, they're not open back or anything. It's clean. It's very, very clean, which is pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, like the percussion. You can hear the ring. It's it's like being in the middle of the stage where I normally sit and hearing everything. Like it kept making me smile. Like like wow, that was really that was very cool. So the brass, you can really hear the buzzy sound of the brass, which is really cool. Um, the low-end instruments sound really lush, and also the, the high, like the piccolo, I could pick out very easily. Um, the articulation in some of the upper woodwinds, you just really hear every little thing. So that was, that was pretty neat. It did what I wanted it to do. So in this recording, I wanted to see if I could hear the banjo all the way through and still hear the low bass. And it, it, it's just clean. And I know I said that with the last one, but I mean, that's what I hear. It's, it's what I hear. I like it, yeah. It's so real. Like the musicians are sitting next to me. This is what I hear when I'm on stage playing a live performance. It, that's, wow. <laughs> I mean, every ring and you know, like when you're sitting on the stage and you can hear it, the sound kind of bounce off the back wall and the, all the resonance and stuff that you hear it with this, that you don't get from other. That was pretty cool. <laughs> If I was able to use these headphones, I would enjoy listening to recordings that I've heard before and they, I would hear more parts out of this and I definitely want to use it with my kids to point out certain instruments to them that in other speakers kind of gets a little muddy, it's hard to distinguish, but in these you can clearly hear each one. Also, since we can't go to live concerts as much these days, it's really nice to hear something that sounds a little bit more live and like it's surrounding you in these headphones. Um, until we can get to live again. So so between the both, if I'm talking like purely aesthetic point of view, like these are definitely it. Quality of sound, I don't know if it's because I've used these longer. I think I might like them a little bit more. 
but I could hear the like division of like the different instruments a lot better with these. I mean, if I had them, I, because I, I mean, I listen to music all the time, but yeah, if I had these, I'd probably listen even more. We hope you enjoyed that classical take of the AirPods Max. Don't forget to hit the like button below and hit subscribe so you can get all the new videos from Apple Insider. And leave a comment below. What did you think? What other videos would you like to see on the channel? How-to videos, reviews, anything like that. We'd love to interact with you there. And don't forget to check out all the podcasts on Apple Insider. The Apple Insider podcast comes out every Friday. I host that with several of our staff members. Monday, HomeKit Insider comes out. We talk about HomeKit, Smart Home, and all that. Plus, Apple Insider Daily. Every day, you get the top Apple headlines in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.